Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to navigate some of the features found at the Registry of Standard Biological Parts, a key resource for iGEM teams. This website contains a ton of information both on how the parts can be assembled with, uh, with other parts, the protocols that can be used to do this, as well as different collections and a catalog of parts. If you've identified a part that you might want to use in your iGEM project, you can search for more information about that part here. For example, let's look for the following part. By typing in the identifying number or tag for this part, we're given a page describing the part who designed it, the name of the part, some features and description. The main page shows you a display indicating the different pieces or the different features in this part. This is a very simple part. This is simply a ribosome binding site. So there's a ruler view counting one to over 100 nucleotides. This particular part is quite small so you only see a small bar depicted here. We can also view the single-stranded DNA sequence for this part. This page also tells us which iGEM assembly standards this part is compatible with. There may be some other information. For example, the experience or use of this part by other teams. Again near the top There's information saying whether or not the part is in stock, how many times it's been used. If you click on this, you'll actually get a list of different times this part's been used. This particular part has been used many times and has been featured in composite parts along with other, other parts in the registry. In addition, any part page will have not only the main page, but a page talking about the design of the part, some design notes, any experience that people have reported using this part, user reviews essentially, and any additional information or part tools. Let's take a look at another part. Okay, can't seem to find the part that I'm looking for. You have to make sure that your accession number is typed in correctly. Okay, here we go. This is a slightly more complicated part. Again, a description of the part is listed here, as well as a visual demonstration of the effects of this part. This happens to be a protein which will turn E. coli blue. Similar parts are also shown here with links to them. Here again is the sequence and the features. Again this part is relatively simplistic in its construction. It consists only of one protein coding region. Again we can look at the entire single strand DNA sequence. We get the compatibility of this part with other iGEM assembly standards and once again we have information on its uses and other information and pages we can look at for that part. 